Okay, I wanted to um, show the four Dutch bucket airlift pump uh, hydroponics garden that I've built. Uh, this garden is being run completely on solar energy. Uh, there are two of these uh, solar uh, air pumps, uh, one for each of my airlift pumps that are inside these white uh, one inch PVC pipes. Uh, there's one here and there's one that I put up on top over here that is um, running the pumps. The system consists of four Dutch buckets and uh, they have uh, two inches of water in them just like a normal Dutch bucket. So uh, the way the system goes is there's a Dutch bucket here and there's a Dutch bucket here. Uh, they're tied together uh, two inches off the bottom with a simple uh, straight pipe with a T. Uh, the T goes into the reservoir, which is here. Uh, the reservoir has a, uh, a, a T on the bottom that goes through the bottom of this bottom bucket to uh, the uh, right uh, pump uh, PVC pipe and to the left uh, pump PVC pipe. The, uh, the bucket on the top is a um, supply bucket and uh, this piece of PVC that's sticking out here with that string in it is a level indicator of the level of the water uh, down below. So um, if I take this, uh, this off, this has got a float valve on it and the float valve will uh, uh, keep the level of the water in the supply bucket constant and I'll just have to put water in the top bucket uh, during the summer. That's uh, kind of what it looks like. There's the, there's the float valve. So uh, what we have is, uh, is the supply uh, bucket here. This is the reservoir. Uh, you can see the a hole in the bottom that feeds the two pipes. Uh, these are the return pipes that are coming in from uh, the pumps. So uh, the pump is uh, the same pump that I've been using, which is an airlift pump. And uh, there it is right there. There's the airlift pump. And uh, the, clear P the clear pipe is the air, and the black pipe is uh, 3 8 inch uh, water uh, return. Uh, those come up to the top and uh, distribute the water. You can see that, uh, let's see if I can pull this off of here. This is the water coming up. It goes into a T that splits the water into the two buckets. If I, if I take that off of there, then you can see the water's just coming out of here. And um, so the water's coming up from the pump and uh, it's feeding these two, uh, two wires. So that's, uh, that's the fundamentals of the system. And uh, what I'll do is I'll tear it down and show you each of the individual pieces. Uh, it's pretty cool, and uh, I expect that it'll work real well this summer. Uh, coming up, I built a number of gardens last year with the pump, and um, this design is, is a result of all the experiments I did last year. So, okay, one of the tests I wanted to run was to see if my float indicator uh, would indeed work. So um, I'm going to drain the water out to take the whole thing apart anyway. So um, I'll, uh, I'll just turn the drain off on here and the water will, uh, will go out of the, of the pump and you can see that this thing is already moving. There it is, it's moving. So this indicates that the uh, water in the reservoir is getting low and that would happen if the um, if the uh, uh, float valve uh, gets stuck for some reason. Last summer I had a float valve get stuck and all the water in the reservoir uh, was consumed by the plants and it, uh, it wasn't good. I, I, I was out of town and when I got back the reservoir was empty and uh, the top supply bucket was full of water and the reason was the, um, uh, the uh, float valve got, uh, got junk in it. 
So this is, uh, this is a good indicator because it'll tell me if that thing is moving up, it will, uh, it'll tell me that the um, float valve has, uh, has an error, uh, has, is probably clogged, and, um, and uh, I need to get in there and I need to clean it out. So, uh, yeah, that works pretty good. So there you go. There's my indicator of, uh, it's going to, there you go. <laughs> Perfect. That means the water in the bottom bucket is uh, lower than it should be, which means the pumps will probably stop working. Okay, the first thing I did was uh, decide to build this wooden uh, structure uh, to uh, house the garden. And the reason for that is that uh, I had to come off the ground anyway. Um, this shelf that's in here is 13 inches from the floor. Uh, and there's a little note there that the pump water level is 10 inches uh, off the floor. It's actually 10 inches deep. It's uh, 10 inches down from the, from the top of this uh, thing. Anyway, I put two shelves in here and cut the holes for the, the pump pipes to come up. And um, I had done other systems with uh, cinder block. And uh, this is just a lot easier to move around if I need to. Uh, the two boards in the middle are for the... Uh, for the reservoir and the pipe that's in the middle of the reservoir. And uh, we'll go look at all that stuff now. Okay, I showed you this before. Uh, this is the water supply bucket. Uh, it has a float valve and uh, this uh, uh, water level pipe. This is actually from a different design and I'm using it again and it can, it can be used to uh, indicate my water level. Um, the uh, float valve is set to uh, put water in the reservoir uh, whenever the plants consume it. So um, it's pretty simple, uh, a one bucket thing. Now this is the uh, uh, reservoir. It's upside down, obviously, and you can see the uh, the hole in the middle. And then I've got two support pieces here that are that are there for stress relief. I actually cracked the bucket once uh, because these uh, these pipes uh, play up and down, and when you move it around, and uh, by putting these support pieces in, the thing doesn't crack. Uh, there's the uh, there's the drain, and then the two pipes go up. So this is this is upside down in the system, and uh, I'll go do that next. Okay, I put the reservoir inside the um, the uh, box and uh, put the shelves down. So now it's sitting there, and uh, that's all there is to it. It's just that uh, the one bucket is the reservoir, and then the uh, supply water goes on top of that, uh, and we're all set. Okay, the next piece of this are the Dutch buckets, and uh, they're pretty straightforward. They're basically uh, 20 inches apart uh, from the two sides of the insides of the buckets. Uh, there's 20 inch uh, dimension there, and um, uh, they're two inches. The pipes are two inches off the bottom, and there's a T in the middle. Uh, that's it, and they go inside next. So this has the uh, the two Dutch buckets installed, and. Uh, uh, the only thing left now are the pumps. Okay, these are the two pumps, and um, I, I've given you a, uh, an explanation of what the pumps look like. So uh, all we have to do is just uh, come over here and uh, put the pumps inside the uh, PVC pipe. And uh, they go inside like that, and uh, we're done. Hook that up there like that, and uh, take the other one and put it in the other side. And that's it, the system is done. So, hope you enjoyed this, and uh, I'll certainly make a video this summer after the tomatoes are giant and uh, I've obviously got all this wood that I placed up on top uh, to build a, um, a lattice structure to hold the tomatoes in place. So anyway, that's it. Thanks. For